Ladies and gentlemen, the 5 p.m. National Hurricane Center full advisories are in for Henry, and they are not good news at all. And I want to state again multiple reasons why this should be of concern is A, it's going to be a hurricane going into one of the most populous places in the United States of America. B, it'll be happening around the 22nd during the full moon and high tide. And then you've got the entire area being saturated by Fred. And then there's that weird hook move where it hooks in and then comes back out. And then it is a very slow moving storm. And so Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, New York City, Long Island, even New Jersey. I would definitely be watching this thing because this thing continues to trend west. Right now it's over super hot, warm, bathtub type waters. And, but it's also bat battling a little shear and some dry air. If that abates later, then it could intensify. And I just want to remind people, it is 2021, right? Like everything bad that could happen seems to be happening. And for months, I put out a full Astro Fight Club red alert from the 20th to the 27th. I said, be prepared for like major boss fights across the board on every level and every way. So, you know, the one of the main things like Jack Sillen, as per usual, there's some uncertainty regarding where the exact point is. But the primary meteorological question at this point is how fast Henry will decay over the cold waters north of the Gulf Stream. And so one of the like, I, I would guess that it could get to category two hurricane strength by about here. And so it's a matter of how much will the cold waters reduce the strength of the hurricane when it finally makes landfall. And so you already have tropical storm warnings and hurricane warnings up. Michael Ferragamo, here's a graphic depicting areas that should be on alert. Henry's track is expected to change, but overall, all areas in southern New England need to be on very high alert. Multiple people are saying this could be the strongest storm to hit the northeast in 30 years. And so, you know, I can't stress enough how I would take this seriously and the power companies there have already said be prepared for seven to ten day power outages possibly so and just a reminder it should be moving slow which will drop a whole lot of rain and the fact that it does this weird knuckleball in and the knuckleballs back out that has me concerned it appears the atmospheric defense team prayer warriors astro fight club is fighting it but it's still a bit of a monster and this is the biggest challenge we've faced since 2018 jack Sillen. He was always chilling. I'm pretty satisfied with how available model forecasts are depicting the structure. They all have the convection displayed southeast of the center, so there's no obvious signs of any of these models being out in left field. And so it may not have the traditional, like, full-on hurricane look because, like I said, they try to separate the low from the convection. But that means the east side of the storm is going to get the heaviest and the worst effects for sure. And Joe Bestardi, who leans heavily to the right as a meteorologist, he's saying, I have no monopoly on tomorrow. I do know that if my president called me, no matter who it was, I would tell them that for some, this could be a benchmark hurricane as far as damage joining other legendary Northeast hurricanes. And in my opinion, action should start now. And I agree. I mean, it's still a tropical storm because it's getting hit with a lot of dry air and wind shear, but it has still been extremely resilient in the face of these conditions. And so I would prepare for a worst case scenario and pray for the best case scenario. And New York City, I would definitely not rule out more of a west trend. Ben Knoll, a westerly trend in Henry's forecast track, and that has been the case for the last few days. This went from, it is no threat to the USA at all, to like, oh, it could, it, the eye could hit Long Island. This would place the heaviest rains over Hudson Valley, New York City, Long Island, and Connecticut, with major flooding possible. Strongest winds would be over at Long Island and Connecticut. Remember, it's not the wind that's the problem. The biggest problem, it's, I mean, it will be a problem, but it's the rain that kills people the most. 
And so models continue to trend west. So, you know, like let's say it has one or two more west ticks, then that would put it square into New York City. But everybody right now here needs to be on, you know, just battening down the hatches. I think some of these will change. Um, but right now it gives you a basic idea. Mike's weather page, rainfall maps increasing and will continue to increase in my opinion as Henry is expected to come to a crawl because it basically kind of stops almost a la Harvey and does that knuckleball thing and then comes back out. So flooding potential exists from these heavy rains. Timing seems most bands will be south of New York for most of Saturday at least. Most of all models show landfall likely as a hurricane. You know, we can pray that it'll just be a tropical storm, but I would be prepared for hurricane impacts, and especially with the slow moving and the knuckleballing. Remember, the more it shifts west, the more it'll hit bigger areas or New Yorkian city and areas and New Jersey and possibly Philadelphia. And so, yeah, that Tomer Berg, the Euro and GEF ensemble data is in. And not only is the track uncertainty decreasing, but the most likely track continues to trend westward. And so that is the trend, and the trend is not the friend of millions of people. Not only do all members show a northeast landfall, but the ensemble mean shifted substantially west and now passes through Albany, New York. And so, and so like it moves in, it hitches, it slows down, it stops, and then it curves back out. And so, you know, I'm not trying to fear monger anybody. And like I said, if somehow the things I say make you feel fear that Thor News is not the channel for you, man. But I would be prepared for this to even, you know, I would track this thing if you're in its path. The chances that it could be like a Category 2 hurricane are on the table. You know, like I say, and we keep saying really shitty shit happening. And so just have a plan and use your own intuition and gut feeling. Like If you feel you need to get your family west, then do it at some point. And like I said, you have high tide with the full moon. It's pretty much happening at the full moon. And this was Tropical Storm Fred, which soaked the upper northeast and just finished passing through. And then storm surge will be depending on how strong the storm is. And everybody always says, well, don't use a NAM. Well, I'm just going to show it. The NAM has it as a pretty dang strong, like 100 mile per hour winds, wind gusts. So this is the NAM. This is the ICON. This is the GFS. And this is the Euro. So the GFS is the farthest to the east. And the ICON is the furthest to the west, which would bring the eye right over I slip in Huntington and the worst conditions would come. It would be to the east would come into here. So, and like they're already predicting heavy, heavy rainfall, seven to 10 inches for some of these areas. And this is expected to make landfall Sunday morning. You know, a lot could change still. The track could shift west, could shift east. I'll be doing my very best to give you guys comprehensive coverage. We've got Hurricane Grace about to make landfall for the second time in Mexico. It looks to be going a little more north than originally predicted. Remember, this thing is just going to come straight to the west. And we're talking about Henry now. And that's supposed to go like straight up, knuckleball in, and then come back out. So it's just weird across the board. So let us hope and pray that atmospheric defense team can keep this thing under a tropical storm the entire time and do a good job of ripping the convection from the low. If that happens, I'll update you. But right now, you know, it still looks like you've got some pretty significant impacts coming to the northeast. Exactly how strong and where, we don't know yet. We will find out. But definitely expect heavy, heavy rainfall. And thank you again to everybody and Asteroid Fight Club for your contributions and donations, making it possible for me to do this my full-time job. I think I cover hurricanes pretty well. Thanks again to Mr. Fun, Mr. Coleman, and everybody out there. I may take a four-hour or five-hour break at some point, 
head to the ocean and drink a strawberry decker too. But I will be around. So stay cool and everybody have a great week weekend. God bless everyone.